Well, we're very fortunate to have Tommy Haas here, former world number two and owner of one of the best one-handed backhands in the world. Definitely one of the most artistic. Now, Tommy, what are some of the keys to your one-handed backhand? Well, first of all, thanks a lot for that. Um, Footwork is obviously one of the key ingredients to having a good backhand. Early preparation, making sure my, my shoulder is underneath my chin, making sure you have the right distance between the ball and the strike zone of where you feel comfortable hitting it and, and making sure that you really kind of go through it and making sure you have a good follow through. You've mentioned some of the benefits of a one-handed backhand, but in today's sport, the two-handed backhand is really predominant. What are some of the advantages of a one-hander? Well, I think the advantages with the one-hander is definitely that you have uh, a lot of variety in the shot itself and, uh, you know, you probably can use the slice a little bit better than the two-handed backhand. So, um, you know, I think uh, even with the second serve that comes at you, you can kind of hit the slice as a return, you know, chip and charge a little bit more. You can throw in the drop shot a little bit better and uh, I think that's really what it comes down to. And maybe you can even disguise it a little bit better if you're going cross-court or down the line with the one-handed backhand in Myers. There are some great one-handed backhands out there now. Where do you compare yours to them? Uh, I hate to compare, obviously. Um, I'd like to think that my backhand has always been uh, a very, very important shot in my game, obviously. But, um, you know, I think when Sam Mavrinka has enough time and really loads up with his legs and has the right timing, the way he can just kind of, you know, use his power uh, and still control the shot and still, you know, make sure that the ball goes in into the right direction, it, it's quite beautiful. I've always liked Richard Gasquet's uh, one-handed backhand. It's one of the most beautiful backhands out there, for sure. Roger Federer obviously is, is right up there as well and uh, I think he personally has the best slice. He uses that variety I think better than anyone with you know the short slice, spin backhand coming in and uh, you know even Almagro has a beautiful backhand so I don't want to miss anybody out because yeah. most of the one-handed backhands sort of have to be kind of good anyway otherwise you're going to be struggling and even Lajovic who is uh, in the rankings a little bit lower I think has a, has a really beautiful one-handed backhand. Thank you for these very valuable tips on the execution of the one-handed backhand.